Hey everybody, it's Alexis with Create Your Future. I am back today with a brand new video. Happy Monday, just saying um, straight out the gate. And today I'm going to be going over a success story of a client of mine. Um, she manifested some amazing things through one-on-one -on -one coaching and also doing hypnosis with me. And then also I'm going to answer a question that we've been getting asked a lot about dreams what do dreams mean from my perspective as a trained hypnotherapist? And I also studied dream therapy as it relates to the subconscious mind in college. So um, I'm going to go over all that today to kind of clear some things up and again, come from my perspective and what I've seen and what I find useful. All right. So before I get started, all the links to booking one-on-one -on -one coaching, hypnosis, and the links to my brand new hypnosis affirmation audio tracks are available in the description box below. Those are still on sale. So if you haven't grabbed them, you guys, I have them at a super low price for a limited time. They're one for $45, two for $75 in American US dollars. And they're just such a steal. And clients just like this client have been getting so many successes um, with these. So also, before I jump in, I'm going to plug in my computer. Um, so just bear with me. Okay. So, you know, we do, I do these videos all at once, um, like in one, one go. So they're very live and in the moment, not edited, which I actually love. I think that's super cool, right? Um, okay. So this success story is for you. If you're manifesting a change with a specific person, you're manifesting an ex back, or if you happen to be like, with um, a husband or a wife or a person in your reality and you're in a relationship but you want them to change okay so just remember that anything is possible and that you are the creator of your reality and you are the creator of the people in your reality and that your reality is an illusion okay so this is interesting that i'm saying that today you guys i always intend that i have the right things to say in the videos that like click um because i consider it kind of like a stream of my own consciousness and remember, as we talk about dreams today, that your reality is also a waking dream. So from the perspective of hypnotherapy, where we focus on embedding the subconscious mind with new goals, new perspective, new thoughts. In this case, I embedded with this client new perspective on the specific person, the new version of the specific person. And then therefore, it was so much easier for her to maintain her focus on that version throughout the day in her waking dream okay so what we know from also the quantum physics perspective is that we're in a physical reality that is also an illusion because it's all energy so i've said this in so many videos but just like to bring it all home that it's energy meaning it's not like a woo woo thing okay as as fun as that is to think about it it's really anatomical energy like if you were to look at the cells or the if you were to take a microscope and look at my phone or your phone it would be um atoms molecular energy so that's how everything is energy it's not really an out there woo woo concept it's just the science of how things are so um we're living in a waking dream and then when you go to sleep you go into a sleepy dream where you're accessing the subconscious mind okay so just to say that, let me read the success story so I get this out and then I can kind of bring it all home. Okay. Dear Alexis, thank you so much for our most recent sessions. And all of them have been so helpful, especially the ones where we talked about my dreams and we did hypnosis. I am so happy I found you on Create Your Future. If anyone out there is hesitant to book sessions with Alexis, dot, 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 go for it. I can honestly say that my life is almost completely done a complete 180 since working with you. I have had a change at work with my SP and most importantly with myself. It's weird because once I started doing hypnosis, I began to be the version of me and focus on the version of him so much easier than um, when I had been working on it for so long by myself. It was like I could no longer see myself and him as the other versions, if that makes sense, lol. Now, in terms of my SP, the biggest news and success is that we are finally in a committed relationship and he brought it up, dot, dot, dot. So that affirmation session we did about him bringing up the relationship talk really worked and he thought it was his idea, LOL. Thank you so much for all you are doing for me and for the world. I am so grateful for you. Can't wait to see you in our next session. Hopefully by then I will have some things happening in my dreams that we can also discuss. X, 
All right. So the really interesting thing that she brought up that I talk a lot about in one-on-one -on -one sessions and that I don't go, have not ever done a video about is that what is the meaning and what does it mean, Alexis, when I have a dream about my specific person and the dream um, is that they're with a third party, um, they're doing something that I'm doing the opposite of throughout the day with my mental diet. Alexis, what does this mean? Oh my gosh, I've watched manifestation videos. So this client was just like this and I have it happen a lot. I've watched so many manifestation videos. Does that mean that my subconscious mind has been embedded with that? Now, I would say yes, unless you're consciously creating. Because the thing about your subconscious mind is that it also has a release mechanism. And once we start, now, the thing about it is that I say all this with the caveat of if you're doing a mental diet and or if you're doing hypnosis. So before I knew about the mental diet, clients would have dreams just like this where they were releasing the old story releasing the old version, releasing the old reality, releasing like the old stuff, you guys. So in school, we learned the um, example of like, let's say that a guy is dating a girl and previously he's had girls not commit to him and there's been infidelity. Okay. So in his early morning dreaming, which is the time specifically also when you're more able to have a um, release or a venting dream, it's just the way that the subconscious mind is orchestrated. But let's say in the early morning, right before he wakes up, which is usually when this client's have this happen, is he has a dream of his current girlfriend cheating on him, okay? Now, if you don't know what's actually happening, the guy usually walks around throughout the day and thinks, oh my gosh, she's gonna cheat on me. The same thing is happening, blah, blah, blah. Maybe even gets mad at the girlfriend. Like who hasn't done that? Because dreams can often feel super real until you know what's going on. The thing is that's so interesting that I learned in hypnotherapy college is that when we have dreams, especially if they're earlier in the morning or they're in the last leg of your dreaming cycle, which is the, the last third, okay, is that he's actually letting go of the story and the expectation and the past of the current girl cheating on him. Now, saying with a caveat, like I've said a lot. This is not me. I didn't create this. I learned this and it was part of the um, training I did in dream therapy. Okay. So what we want to think is that when you have, in my opinion, throughout the night also, when you have dreams of your specific person doing things that you're affirming against or doing things or you're being a version of you that you no longer align with or that you're affirming um, for the opposite in your mental diet or you're doing some kind of practice, um, hypnotherapy or something like that that's the opposite of it, we say, oh my gosh, when you get up in the morning and you feel weird about it and you're like, oh my gosh, I had this dream that was of all that stuff I it's unwanted. Instead, you guys, what I want you to say is thank you subconscious mind for being on my side and knowing how to release what I no longer need. Thank you so much subconscious mind because this is evidence. This means that I'm really, really, really embedding myself and my subconscious mind is taking root of the new, it's releasing the old. Okay. So I always come at these things with the perspective of hypnotherapy, integrative psychology, and then what we know also as conscious manifesting. What I've actually heard from clients that they've heard a lot on all these different um, avenues is that people are saying out there that if you're dreaming about it, then you're manifesting it and your mind, blah, 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 hasn't caught up to you. I would, um, encourage everyone to delete that limiting belief and say, no, my mind supports me. My mind knows exactly how to keep me on track. And your mind actually uses your dreaming for time to really, really um, acquiesce and embed and, and really focus on what you've been focusing on. Okay. So the other thing that I've been getting asked a lot is what happens if it's hard for you to stay on your mental diet? What if you wake up um, in the middle of the night and you're thinking the opposite or something like that. There's a lot of questions about that. My goal for you, if that's you, would be to have you be affirming throughout the day. I am now sleeping better and better. My dreaming supports me. I am supported all the time by my manifestation and um, everything is as once we start to think that your sleepy time supports you and then everything supports you, then you guys, it does. Okay. So um, just like this client, you can use these tools and you can manifest 
the relationship talk because going back to what she did in this particular success story she did that now we did hypnosis um affirmation session which is my new offering where we do a light hypnosis and then i focus on lots and lots of direct affirmations to embed the subconscious mind we also did regular hypnosis where we did some releasing of the past and using imagery and the imagination they both work for everybody um so just saying that's what she did along with coaching so she did an ad hoc like what i recommend to a lot of people is if you like to talk to me for 45 minutes book a coaching session then after that if you want to do hypnosis affirmation session we can do that the next time people kind of flip-flop with what works for them there isn't one tried and tested um format here for sessions with me but that's what i've seen work a lot is one session for coaching like one hypnosis affirmation session maybe another coaching and then a regular hypnosis but remember too that whenever you're coming into a session with me that you want to focus that i know how to guide you through the presenting problem presenting issue and that you're putting your trust in my hands right because i i'm uh you know here to help and uh and that's my background okay so so you guys like let's really dissolve and neutralize cancel out this whole thing that you're dreaming means that you're not on track right because that's the last thing we want to give any meaning to for anything so i don't know why anybody in a manifestation community is saying your dreams mean x y and z right we want to say my dreams support me my subconscious mind supports me the more that i work on myself the more that my subconscious mind has to somehow some way extract and release all the stuff that was in there from before right so it's kind of a process where you're creating your future and then the future you were creating through your old thinking is dissolving okay so if you want to manifest the relationship talk with your specific person just like this client did we did one specific affirmation session where it was focusing on that and then she really decided you guys too throughout the day in her mental diet and it was her conviction that he was bringing it up with her once and for all there was no more of this does he like me doesn't he like me is he calling isn't he calling is he texting isn't he texting now i did have to guide her through multiple times of saying that's what you don't want let's focus on what you do want which is he's bringing it up to you you're receiving the information you're focusing on you focusing on him this is your reality and you're creating this from within because that's the thing you guys it is your reality your perception don't forget too How exciting is that, that you're here to create the new you, create the new relationship, and you have all of these tools to do so, okay? So I hope that that clears it up. That's my perspective on what your dreams mean, how we can give new meaning to the whole thing, and then how we can use these tools to really like propel your manifestation forwards. Like I said in my previous videos about hypnosis, I wish that I had had all of this when I was first consciously manifesting, um, just because it really propels the process. We feel so much better and it's great to walk around feeling like you're really in your power, that you're empowered and that you're able to have anything that you want because it's true. All right, you guys. So I intend for you to have an awesome day. Great start to your week and let this information marinate and let's get on board with dreams are amazing. All right. See you guys in my next video. Bye.